party people! I'm Kaylee and welcome to my channel Happy Makes Me where I teach you how to create a handmade lifestyle that makes you happy. And in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to DIY your own elastic waist gathered skirt. If you dig all things DIY, handmade, sewing, fun times, good things, yeah yeah yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ding the notification bell so that you can find out when the next video like this posts. Now that it's summer, I am slowly dying. It's really hot. I just entered my eighth month of pregnancy and I haven't sewn any summer ready maternity clothing. I literally have two bottoms that fit me, so the skirt I'm a little bit desperate for. I was going through my sewing stash and I found this old project that I had cut out and I had intended to originally make the hinterland dress by So Liberated. It was cut out. I cut out a size 6, I'm actually a size 12, so the bodice, yeah, no, it's no bueno, it's not gonna work. But I found that the skirt pieces that I cut out actually are still usable. So I was gonna just whip this baby up and make my own waistband for it, but then I realized these are just two squares of fabric. This would be really, really simple to DIY yourself. So I thought I would share the making process with you guys so that you can make your own at home. So the pieces that I'm going to be using from the pattern are going to be the front and back skirt pieces, which I'm going to show you a little formula so that you can cut them out for yourself. I'm also using the pocket pieces from the Hinterland dress pattern. However, there are a lot of free pocket pattern pieces out there that you can download and print off for yourself. I'll leave a link to a couple that I like to use below. So the only piece that I'm really going to need to cut out is the waistband piece. I think that's everything. I'm going to get to sewing. All right, well, let's get started making this maternity friendly DIY gathered skirt. For this project, you're going to need a lightweight fabric such as quilting cotton or linen, and you're also going to need a quarter inch width elastic. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find the waist and length measurements you're going to need for your skirt. If you're making the maternity friendly version of the skirt and you're rocking the bump like this mama, what you're going to want to do is measure around your body above the baby bump or where your skirt is going to sit. But if you're not making the maternity friendly version, what you're going to do is stand up straight and bend to the side. Think like I'm a little teapot tipping over. Where your body naturally bends is your natural waist. You're going to wrap the measuring tape all around your body and get your measurements. Then starting at your waist point, measure down to find your preferred length for your skirt and add one inch for the hem. Once you've calculated your measurements using the formula provided, start cutting out your fabric pieces. Now for this project, I already had pocket pieces cut out using the pocket bags provided from the Hinterland sewing pattern, or you can use the free pocket pattern piece from Tilly and the Buttons that I will leave linked in the description box below. Once all of your fabric pieces are cut out, measure how far down on your skirt you'd like your pocket pieces to sit. For reference, I place mine about 5 inches down from the top of the skirt. Mark the pocket placement and pin in place on the wrong sides of both the front and back skirt pieces. Then sew them in place. Press your pocket bags away from the skirt pieces and top stitch in place as close to the seam as possible. Next, lay the front skirt piece on top of the back skirt piece with right sides facing. Match all sides and pocket pieces and pin in place. Using a half inch seam allowance, sew along all the edges, making sure to insert your needle, lift your presser foot, and pivot the fabric around the pocket bags. Then finish off all raw side seams. You can either use a serger, zigzag stitch, because my fabric wasn't really fraying, I just used a pair of pinking shears to cut off the excess fabric. Press seams open or towards the back, then press your pocket bags towards the front of the skirt. Next, adjust your sewing machine to the longest possible stitch length. Sew three rows of gathering stitches, each about a quarter inch apart, making sure to leave long tails at the beginning and the end for gathering. Pull on the long thread tails to create your gathers. 
making sure to evenly space your gathers as much as possible. Your skirt should roughly be gathered until it's about the same width as the waistband piece folded in half. Next, we're going to sew the waistband. Sew together the raw edges of your waistband piece, pressing the seam open. Then fold down one edge of the waistband a quarter inch and press. With the seam centered in the back of the skirt, pin the unfolded edge to the top of the skirt, right sides facing, and sew in place. Then turn the waistband up and press. Fold down the folded edge of the waistband to cover the raw edge of the skirt. Press and pin in place. Sew along the waistband of the skirt, making sure to leave a small gap about one inch open in order to insert your elastic. Next, we're gonna cut your elastic pieces. You can do this just by wrapping a piece around your waist until it fits snugly. Not super tight, but making sure to stretch it a bit. Use your first piece of elastic to measure and cut your next two pieces to length. Using your elastic pieces as a guide, Take a piece of tailor's chalk and mark how wide your elastic channels will be on your waistband. Sew two rows of stitches, creating three channels total, leaving a one inch gap to insert your elastic for each channel. Attach one end of your elastic to a safety pin and feed it through the top channel of your waistband. Once you get to the end, pull the elastic ends tight and layer them on top of each other. Sew together using a zigzag stitch. Repeat two more times for the other pieces of elastic. Adjust your waistband to distribute the gathers evenly and make sure none of your elastic pieces are twisted inside of the channels. Sew the openings of the waistband close. The final step is to fold the bottom of your skirt up half an inch twice. Press and pin in place. Then sew to hem your skirt. So what do we think of the end result? Yay, you did it. Now you have a beautiful and easy to wear elastic waist gathered skirt. It's easy and light to layer, so it's perfect for transitioning seasons. And again, I love how this is maternity friendly, so you can easily wear it over a baby bump, wear it postpartum, or just wear it as a comfy, cozy, light and breezy piece in the summertime when you don't want something so clingy to your body. I also love how beginner friendly the sewing pattern is. It's really amazing to see what you can make out of just a couple squares of fabric. 
I hope you had so much fun following along with this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more sewing tutorials like this one. I hope you have the best day ever. I will see you guys again soon. Bye.